interesting the world we live in today. You ever think about that? Like, wow, the world we live in, we have fruits that are seedless. How did they become seedless? I went into Kroger and I found something even worse. I'm gonna share that with you guys in a bit. <laughs> but before we dive in, hello, my name is Waisha. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with future content. Let's dive in. So I went to Kroger and I can't make this up. I'm about to post a picture, y'all. Tell me what you see. What is that? What is a tearless onion? What are you selling me right now, Kroger? I, I know GMOs are a thing, right? Genetically modified organisms. We're here, we get that. But you guys somehow found a way to make onions to where they don't make you tear up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's not an onion. I'm not eating it. Keep it far away from me. Not all greens are good. I I'm starting to learn that more and more and this whole plant-based is not always deemed as healthy if we have things like this on the market that we are unaware of right um this is this is crazy i i eat a plant-based diet and as i was exploring this plant-based eating lifestyle i had to learn very quickly that not all plant-based is created equal <laughs> and what I mean by that is that there's levels to it, right? There's plant-based and then there's plant-based, if you get what I'm saying. So one of the things that I learned is that processed foods, right? You will see a lot of processed food that says, you know, plant-based foods, yay, great. You know, you're not using meat and stuff like that. Um, but they're made with so many chemicals to where... I don't even know what's worse anymore, eating the meat or eating <laughs> or eating this process um, thing that you call chicken nuggets. I, I learned that not everything is healthy just because it's plant-based. I found that I was gaining the most weight when I was trying these plant-based products. Um, and I understand why after, you know, using yucca, which I explained a bit more in this video here. Check it out um, if you're interested. Um, where I use this app Yucca and it tells me a bit more about what is in the ingredients, if it's hazardous, if it's high in sodium, trans fats and stuff like that. And most of the things that I was consuming from, you know, the processed foods were very bad for me. Um, but they had that plant based title. So, right. Another thing that I noticed is, you know, I wanted to switch over from processed plant-based to whole foods plant-based, but I didn't realize that there's a lot that I would have to look out for on that side of things as well. There's GMO foods that exist to where the nutrients are stripped from it. You have things that are seedless now, right? If you guys, if you guys have had seeded grapes, let me know in the comments below, because when I say I haven't seen a seeded grape in years, I had to look high and low for seeded watermelon. And eventually I did find those, but seeded grapes, they don't exist. I, I, I swear, I can't find them. Um, so if you guys have seen seeded grapes, please let me know in the comments below um, so I can find them. But anyways, I realized that I was trying to eat the whole foods and be on a healthier diet. And I didn't realize that I also have to be cautious when eating these foods, right? Because I could accidentally pick up a tearless onion <laughs> at the grocery store and no telling what that is and what it will do to my body because it's not natural. So aside from getting rid of the processed plant-based foods, trying to minimize and get rid of the GMO plant-based foods, which by the way, look for specific labels. So I learned that there's three different kinds of labels. The ones that start with a 3000 or 5000 number are the ones that are fertilized. They use maybe chemicals and growing the food. But the ones that I try to lean forward and make sure I get is the ones that are nine. Well, it's not 9000. I think it's like 90,000 or something. It starts with a nine. 
I have images somewhere on this video. Um, if it starts with a nine, it's probably good-ish. Um, <laughs> and those are typically the organic foods, which is where I'm leaning more towards now, just focusing on pure organic foods. You know, in the past, I felt like it was okay to every now and then just get another kind of, you know, fruit or vegetable. Cause I'm like, what harm could it be doing, right? A potato is a potato, you know, an onion is an onion. So I thought, um, but just thinking about the behind the scenes of what's actually happening to these fruits and veggies, I really want to be mindful about what it is that I'm putting in my body. Um, and with that being said, I, um, I plan to be a bit more intentional. Yeah, but you guys keep in mind, keep in mind, not all plant-based foods are healthy and not all greens are good, okay? So just throwing that out there, sharing my findings, sending love and light to you all. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know, like, subscribe, share the love, leave comments if you wanna have a conversation about your findings, your learnings, or if there's something I missed in the video that you think should be highlighted, um, let me know. Peace and love, hope to see you in the next video.